Hello everyone, this is Dr. Vinash. Now today I'll be uh, discussing a case of abdominal wall necrotizing fasciitis. Now here the areas which are in green represents the purulent fluid within the abdominal wall. Now this is a diagram of abdominal wall. Now the infection develops in this space which is the space between the peritoneum and the muscle layers now in our case we have taken a laparoscopic approach and we have put two drains in these two places so the pre-peritoneal space will drain as well as the peritoneum is going to drain and the abdomen will be cleared of the virulent material now here we have gone intraperitoneal which is when, uh, inside of the abdomen you can see the virulent fluid uh, within the peritoneal cavity the momentum was uh, very mildly stuck to the uh, anterior abdominal wall we just uh, took it down This was a diabetic male with uncontrolled sugars, uh, which was one of the risk factors uh, for developing this infection. Now here you can see there is virulent fluid in the pelvis. Uh, we are uh, slowly trying to take down some of the additions uh, by using the suction. So this fluid over here was suctioned out and this is the area uh, where the infection was present in the preperitoneal space now here we have given a wash we have uh, done a thorough irrigation and lavage and we have placed a drain in the pelvis which is the uh, intraperitoneal area now here we have entered in the extra peritoneal space in a similar fashion how we enter in a uh, totally extra peritoneal repair uh, while doing a hernia surgery and you can see i am trying to negotiate a 5mm cannula into the preperitoneal space and you can see the virulent exudate uh, which is present in this space and we have given a thorough wash and we will be leaving a drain in the preperitoneal space. A laparoscopic approach is a much safer approach and it prevents occurrence of complications. Now, uh, if this case was done by using an open method, there is a high chance of development of a hernia in the future and also a uh, significant uh, chance of developing incision uh, infection uh, in the incision site. So here we have completed the surgery. The final lavage is being done and in this space a drain will be left. The patient had a uh, good amount of discharge for at least a week to 10 days after the surgery after which the drain output came down to nil uh, and by the end of uh, approximately 10 to 12th day the drains were pulled out the patient recovered very well thank you